bug reporting introduction as testers we all agree to the fact that the basic aim of the tester is to decipher bugs whenever a build appears for testing the primary objective is to find out as many bugs as possible from every corner of the application to accomplish this task as perfection we perform testing from various perspectives we strain the application before us through various kinds of strainers like boundary value analysis validation checks verification checks gui interoperability integration tests functional business concept checking back end testing security tests and many more this makes us to drill deep into the application as well as the business we would agree to the fact that bug awareness is of no use until it is well docu documented here comes the role of bug reports the bug reports are our primary work product this is what people outside the testing group notices these reports play an important role in the software development life cycle in various phases as they are referenced by testers developers managers top shots and not to forget the clients who these days demand for the test reports so the bug reports are remembered the most once the bug are reported by the testers and submitted to the developers to work upon we often see some kinds of confrontations there are humiliations which testers face sometimes there are cold wars nonetheless the discussion take the shape of mini quarrels but at times testers and developers still say the same thing or they are correct but the depiction of their understanding are different and that makes all the differences in such a situation we come to a stand effort that the best tester is not the one who finds most of the bugs or the one who embraces most programmers but is the one who gets most of the bugs fixed bug report is an art the first aim of the bug report is to let the programmer see the failure the bug report gives the detailed description so that the programmers can make the bug fail for them in case the bug report does not accomplish this mission there can be backlash from the development team saying not a bug cannot reproduce and many other reasons hence it is important that the bug report be prepared by the testers with utmost proficiency and specificity points for effective bug reporting bug description should be clearly identifiable a bug description is a short statement that briefly describes what exactly a problem is might be a problem required 5 to 6 steps to be produced but this statement should clearly identify what exactly a problem is problem might be a server error but description should be a clear saying server error occurs while saving a new record in the add contact window bug should be reported after building a proper context free conditions for reproducing the bug should be defined so as to reach the exact point where bug can be reproduced for example if a server error appears while editing a record in the context list then it should be well defined as a free condition to create a new contact and save successfully double click this created contact from the contacts list to open the contact details make changes and hit save button steps should be clear with short and meaningful sentences nobody would wish to study the entire paragraph of long complex words and sentences make your report step wise by numbering 1 to 3 etc make each sentence small and clear only write those findings or observations which are necessary for this respective bug writing facts that are already known or something which does not help in reproducing a bug makes the report unnecessarily complex and lengthy cite examples wherever necessary most of the times it happens that the bug can be reproduced only with a specific set of data or values
Hence, instead of writing ambiguous statement like enter an invalid phone number and hit save button, give reference to specifications. If any bug arises that is a contradictory to the functional document of the project, for that matter, then it is always proactive to mention the section page number for reference. Report without passing any kind of judgment in the bug description. The bug report should not be judgmental in any case as this leads to controversy and gives an impression of bossy. Remember, a tester should always be polite so as to keep his bug up and meaningful. Being judgmental makes developers think as though testers know more than them and as a result gives birth to a psychological adversity. To avoid this, we can use the word suggestion and discuss with the developers or team lead about this. We can also refer to some application or some modules or some phase in the same application to strengthen our point. Assign severity and priority. Severity is the state or quality of being severe. Severity tells us how bad the bug is. It defines the importance of bug from functionality point of view and implies adherence to rigorous standards or high principles. Priority means something deserves prior attention. It represents the importance of a bug from customer point of view. Vices precedence established by urgency. Provide screenshot. This is the best approach for any error, say object reference, server error, GUI issues, message prompts and any other errors that we can see should always be saved as a screenshot and be attached to the bug for the proof. It helps the developers understand the issue more specifically. Conclusion It is important that we report everything that we feel we do. What is the impact and measure this impact in terms of severity and priority? A tester is the catalyst of any team. He makes up the team on one hand and breaks up the application on the other hand. It is important to note all the issues big and small in the application with due course of understanding in terms of business and application. Thereby, we a face value through strong bug report as a proof and status of bugs updated at all stages in software development life cycle. Happy bugging!